Ernest Goh is a professional photographer who has come up with two photo books, The Fish Book and Cox. Let's find out more about him. Uh, I'm a photographer, uh, and I'm a photographer. My name is Ernest, and I'm a photographer, and I've been uh, photographing animals for the last three, four years. Uh, and recently, I've been uh, lucky enough to be two books. Uh, Fish book box, and uh, it's something I've been doing for uh, for a while, and hope to continue doing more of it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um. So, how did your interest in photography started out? Uh, it started as uh, I guess, like most of it, started you know, kind of like a hobby. Soon after that, I realized that you know, people are willing to pay me to photograph things. Mm. So I said, yeah, sure, why not? You know. So I guess from that, it became kind of a career. And then I went to work for, uh, for the newspaper. And found it even more exciting. And decided that that's definitely the type of work I would kind of want to do, uh, hopefully for the rest of my life. Okay. Uh, so how does a photographer come out with a photo book? Uh, well, there's many ways. Because mm -hmm. uh, the most, the traditional way was, you know, looking for a publisher. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think right now with technology and with the internet, it's also really easy to self-publish. Possibly, you know, reach even a wider audience. So there's I'll probably many ways around it. Uh, I mean, there's of course self even within self publishing, there's a couple of ways. There's uh, hand make hand making your own books, uh, and that's also really easy. I mean, just go to YouTube and you can just search any other. Um, how to make YouTube videos and you probably find something mm. uh, and you can sell the book online mm. the other way of it is of course ebooks mm. uh, and that's I would imagine it's even easier in terms of production so it really depends on the photographer how he or she feels or wants the final product to be mm, okay. so if let's say if um, uh, what about yourself? How did you <laughs> come about having your own photo book? Mm. Uh, okay, so mm. this particular this mm. particular books, we I actually work with um, publisher Big Red Books. It's pretty excited to work on them because uh, the publisher also intended to push out a series of photography books uh, about Singapore by Singapore photographers. The fish book was actually uh, first in the series, and after that there was uh, two other books. So, sorry, I lost my mind. Uh, it's okay. Uh, what's the question again? Uh, so, they wanted to publish oh, yeah. a series of Singapore photography books. And uh, so we sat down, and uh, just one day I was just at the publisher's office, and I just showed them the fish book first. Mm. It wasn't even intended uh, to be a book in the beginning. It was actually more like a personal project. Uh, and I kind of found that actually it was quite uh, interesting to play in the form of a book. And so it was kind of like a, I would say it was kind of like an experiment in the very beginning. Uh, and it's quite cool. I mean, it's, it has so far um, been doing pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and the two other photographers that follow up with their books as well. And now the fourth book is the, the one on the chickens. I think it's uh, it's always nice to be able to see your work on the bookshelves mm, yeah. being brought out in the form of a book. I mean, although it's you can call it traditional, but I think any author or any artist would uh, relish the opportunity of having a, mm. a published work mm. out in the out in the public. Oh, okay.
Um, actually, so uh, just for my own curiosity, uh, uh, in terms of marketing, right? Uh, must you do a lot of your own marketing, or did the publisher help out? Like how did they? Do? <laughs> What's that? I always think it's a combination of both. Uh, I think the artist or the author is the best ambassador for his or her book. Mm. So it's always essential to market your own book as well. You know it best, I mean the author knows it best. So it's important to do it, do your own marketing. Yeah. And of course this is supplemented as well by marketing by the publisher. Mm. Because they have their networks. And the distribution of the network like work as well. Mm. So I think the combination of two is very important. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so how do you market your own book? I mean like, what what are the tools that some things that you've done? Um, mm. Definitely uh, uh, leverage on social media. Mm. Uh, that's one of the most cost effective ways. Uh, so like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Instagram. Mm. Basically, letting your readers uh, know that you are current mm. in your work, and you are sometimes maybe even let them know that you know you're, you're there to answer any questions mm. they might have. Uh, I think I think the internet has broken down some barriers in terms of communication. Mm. So I think it's important to also communicate with readers in whatever way it is possible. Yeah. So constantly, you know, staying in touch in terms of the social media aspect of it. And that's of course, as a photographer, there's an exhibition component as well. That's always a great way to bring the book, the work as a book out to the public. Okay. Um, so how do you choose your subject? Uh, the subject of your photography, like fish, hawks. Yeah. <laughs> most of the time, they choose me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's a little bit of uh, chance. It's a little bit of uh, research, and also a little bit of uh, the circumstance of the accessibility mm. that I have. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, the fish book. Yeah. Um, I had um, great support from uh, Tianhu Fish Farm, mm. Kenny Yap this morning. Okay. Uh, was really supportive, letting me, you know, basically camp out in his uh, in his <laughs> farm yeah. for you know a couple of months um, just to photograph this. And so I did not expect I uh, have the accessibility uh, to photograph the fish. Otherwise, I probably had to. I probably had to you know, buy every fish I have photographed in this world. Mm-hmm. I probably have to own a fish farm myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so accessibility is one very big thing. Uh, so in that way, I guess kind of why I meant your, sometimes your subject chooses mm-hmm. you because of where you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Singapore is actually the biggest, probably still is the biggest exporter of ornamental fish on the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, you know, there's a lot of access to Mm, fish, yeah. um, as for mm-hmm. the chicken one, it, again it was also kind of like a circumstance because I was actually in Malaysia researching uh, another type of bird, you know, um, and I just kind of chanced upon this uh, this particular species of mm. chicken that was mm. actually really popular in Malaysia mm. right now. You know, I, yeah, I did a little bit more research and found that you know, this bird is actually really unique, really interesting in yeah. the way it works. Mm-hmm. And, uh, even in its size, and that there's actually a beauty contest for it in Malaysia, so I thought that was even more interesting. So it kind of unfolds sometimes, things like that unfolds in, in a way that you probably would not expect. Mm-hmm. I guess that goes for everything, yeah. Yeah, even writing. Okay, uh, so what do you hope to achieve with your photo books? You have a... <laughs> well, mainly when I started out photographing animals, was for me it was really about just showing how kind of amazing these animals are. Mm. I mean, they are to me. Mm. You, you know, you know, fish like this exist. Like uh, you know, they, they go to any aquarium shop. And you can probably buy a fish like that, but uh, and you know how it roughly looks like. 
but actually if you actually mm. take time mm. and really look at it up close and actually stare at it, well, most people don't have the time to do that. I mean, even before this project, I wouldn't do that, right? But it was only after the project that I, when I put the, the animal right in front of the lens and shoot it uh, in such a way that I, mean, I personally found it. I found a lot of other aspects of the animal that I've never mm. noticed before. Yeah. And I thought it'd be really cool to show it to, to other people. Yeah. I just tell them, hey, you know, it looks really cool. I mean, I know you know how it looks like, but you know, you know that you can also look like that. Mm. Uh, and I think that's important, just to show other aspects of something uh, that people most of the time have assumed that they already know what it, how it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what advice would you give to, let's say, photographers who want to come up with their own photographs? Um, I would say um, definitely work on the subject mm. that you want to work on. Not because uh, it will sell better for uh, any other reason. Mm. Because somebody tells you you should do it. Uh, I think that's the first thing you definitely want to think about. Uh, and then after that, uh, yeah, definitely work on it for a period of time. And show the work around, get opinions, and do not expect that you know, it to be published immediately. Uh, or do not expect like, you know, people around you to immediately accept it as uh, a piece of work worth published. Uh, definitely work, you definitely get rejections, I can tell you that. Uh, but that also doesn't mean that it's not a good piece of work. Uh, so, which is why I said you know, show the world around. Get opinions, get uh, feedback, work. and then develop it from there again. And I would say that would be probably the most. Uh, would probably be the toughest part of any project, I think, mm. the development. But I think it's also the most important. Yeah. And after you get to a point where you think that it's you know worthy of publication, I would say do a mock up. There's so many tools you can you can probably do the whole mock up in the house you know, mm. printers and all. Uh, put a simple mock up together, put it in a book book for mm. and look at it and then show it uh, show it around again uh, and that's when I think uh, you can get like, much better feedback so, uh, the viability of it being a real published mm. physical book with mm. physical published book uh, is more uh, it's probably easier to see from there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah plans for this year? <laughs> uh, Any plans? I am working on a project called uh, a book project for the, the 2015 meeting project by oh, okay. a group called Platform. I'm also a, a co-founder of the group okay. Platform. It's actually a, a, a group uh, that promotes photography mm. uh, project called the 2015 project okay. uh, where we are going to publish uh, a whole series of photo books oh, wow. by local photographers on local subjects mm. uh, gonna, so that's something I'm going to work on okay. I mean for your case like what 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 were you, what qualities were you looking for when it comes to the photographer that you want to publish? I think there's no, there's never a hard and fast mm. of what you look for it doesn't even work for enough photographers. I think it's about every work has its own merits and we will just choose it based on merits of okay. work. That's why in the end of the day I think it's important to show your work around let people know that it exists. Mm. So there's no point in 
doing a masterpiece and putting it in your bedroom. Yeah. So we, o- we will only be able to choose the work if we have seen it. Mm, yeah. So I would say uh, back to that again. Show us your work. I mean, if you think you have something worth publishing, uh, show it. Send it to us. Mm-hmm. Show it to us. Uh, we, we have a, a, a event that happens every month. It's called Mods Club Network. It happens on the first Tuesday of every month. Sometimes it shifts a bit. Okay. Uh, but when you check out our Facebook page, the information is always all there. Uh, so, what's the Facebook page? Is it like. What's the title? Uh, platform. Platform? <laughs> yeah. Platform. You, there, it's just P-L-A-T-F-O-R. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's available. <laughs> it's available. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah.